Hey guys, I'm Matt from Model Flight, and today we're going to do a little tutorial on how to use the RX2 Sim with the Phoenix Flight Simulator. Okay, so here we have the RX2 Sim module. Uh, included with the package, you'll also receive some adapter leads. So we've got a 7 pin uh, sort of parallel connector which uses the signal wires off the receiver and also uh, just a normal mail to mail servo extension lead. And what this does is allows you to get the, the signal from the receiver to the module. So, firstly, to get this working, We'll need, obviously, your receiver. For the purposes of the video, we've got an 8-channel here so we can get all the functions. But if you're using a 6-channel, you would just drop, let's say, the two end connectors off. So how we've got it, we've got the lead with the negative and positive wire into the throttle channel, so channel number 1. And then following that in sequence, we've got, obviously, aileron elevator rudder and then moving on through the auxiliary channels. And they're all in as they fall on the plug. So this particular throttle channel will go into the this rx to sim module in port number one where it says negative and positive, obviously observing the correct polarity. That plugs into there. And then again, obviously aileron being channel number two, so we follow that wire, we'll have to flip this connector over, and then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, next to that, and that connects the receiver to the SIM module. Secondly, we'll be using the adapter, so the dongle that's included with your Phoenix flight SIM, and this is to allow the registration to go through and make it legal for the SIM to work on the computer. And once plugged in, this can be neatly stowed away behind the computer to keep it neat. Quite simply, the USB in the RX to SIM, followed by the 3.5mm jack to the PPM output. And that's the SIM adapter module all plugged in. Again, very simple. To connect the RX to SIM to the computer, it's just a USB. Again, for the purposes of the video, we're just using a laptop, so we'll chuck that in there. And you'll see the lights light up, and you'll also see your receiver come back online. Um, this feeds the power to the receiver as well. So again, you can keep that behind your computer and it'll happen automatically. We've got status lights on the front here. Uh, single channels, obviously, because we've got all of our single channels plugged in. Um, this also has the option to run a remote receiver directly into the rx to sim Okay, so here we have a DX6i transmitter. I've bound this to the receiver. Uh, this is all connected up to the computer. I've gone through the calibration on this uh, Phoenix sim to make sure all the control directions are correct. But as you can see, we've got elevator. We've got ailerons, we've got rudder, and we've got throttle. Action. So there you go guys, there's a bit of a tutorial of how to set up the RX2 sim. Uh, as you can see we're using it on the Phoenix Flight sim. Uh, we're using a version 4, uh, it's a free upgrade to version 5 and we do have version 5 coming available very soon. The RX2 sim is compatible with all of the Phoenix flight sims. If you would like more information about the RX2 sim, please click on the link just here. And if you would like some more information of the Phoenix flight simulator, please click up here. And also don't forget to subscribe to our channel up here.